Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Ads tutorial. Today we are going to learn something that was long awaited by all of you. How we can see the performance of our asset groups in Performance Max campaigns. So first of all, we need to access our Google Ads. Secondly, we need to go and we are going to access our Performance Max campaign. Before we get started, please make sure that you subscribe and you like the video. It really helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance. And off we go. So you're going to select your Performance Max campaign. We're going to click here on Asset Groups. And the next thing that you need to do is typically you're going to land on this screen, which is the summary. So you're going to go on the top right and you're going to click on Table. Right? So when you click on table, you're going to see here all your asset groups. Now you're going to say, okay, where are the stats? I don't see any stats. And this is what you need to do. You're going to come here and click on columns. And once you click on columns, then you're going to add the stats inside your report. So you're going to click on performance. And we're going to add clicks, cost, impressions, click-through rates, CPC, and then conversions, we're going to add conversions, cost per conversion, conversion rate, conversion value, if it's relevant for you. And here from the right hand side, we are also going to basically apply some sense to our report. So we're going to have impressions, clicks, click through rate, cost per click, cost, and then conversions, cost per conversion, and conversion rate. And then we're going to click apply. Once we do that, here we go. So here you can see a table with all the stats for your asset groups. So you can treat them the same way that you treat ad groups on any other regular Google Ads campaign. So now I know which asset groups are actually moving the needle and therefore the segmentation in terms of targeting and in terms of creatives and in terms of basically anything else you want to trial when it comes to asset groups or performance max is going to be a lot more meaningful because you will be able to see which asset groups perform the best. That's it. So one more time, once you land on this screen, you're going to go all the way up, click on table, then you're going to click on columns, you're going to add the metrics in, and that's it. That's how you can actually see in detail how your performance max asset groups are performing. If you manage to do that, and if you like this video, as usual, please subscribe. Thank you in advance. Thank you for watching and have a great day in any time zone.